Okay, this is the end of the ride and I am at home. We did a wonderful ride at Loma Alta Trailhead. And uh, I did it a little bit differently today. Meg, the lady I rode with, she actually had the camera today. So I'm anxious to see from her eyes our ride. It's a different perspective. And she did some schooling for me that I needed for the uh, gates, which was helpful. So I'm gonna put this at the beginning so you know what's going on. So there again, I wanna say happy trails. Uh -oh. Your reins are uneven again. Yeah, try and keep them even. So that you're pulling, you got one rein loose and one tight again. Get them both even. Okay, that looks better, but hold his mouth so he knows he's not supposed to walk. Uh, again, you got one rein hanging. Your, your left rein keeps hanging down. You, you're not doing that up as tight. You, that one's hanging and your, your right one is tight, but your left one is looping. I'll show you in the video after. But he's standing there really nice. I like that. That's good. Okay, easy. He's, oh. Your reins are uneven again. Yeah, try and keep them even. So that you're pulling, you got one rein loose and one tight again. Get them both even. Okay, that looks better, but hold his mouth so he knows he's not supposed to walk. Uh, again, you got one rein hanging. Your, your left rein keeps hanging down. You, you're not doing that up as tight. You, that one's hanging and your, your right one is tight, but your left one is looping. I'll show you in the video after. But he's standing there really nice. I like that. That's good. Okay, easy. He's out. These gates are really hard for the horses to do because it's narrow coming through the braces. And it's hard to grab the gate. Alita and I are on the Loma Alta Trail up in the Rincons and we're going to do the Ruiz Trail and make a loop when we get a little further up here. And uh, it's a nice trail, probably a little bit more than two hours total. So we can't really do more than that today because I think it's going to warm up too fast. There's nobody else out here, which is nice. 
Oh, we did see one jogger, but he was moving way faster than we are. He's long gone. We've got some really pretty landscape riding up to the, uh, the foothills of the Rincon Mountains. All of the mesquite trees are leafed out now and the Palo Verde still has some yellow flowers on it but just, just about gone by for their season. But still beautiful. Mm -hmm. We're going to be riding up on that ridge over to the right when we get around here and we'll follow that ridge for a while before we drop down into the wash. Mm. This big, beautiful ranch windmill used to be complete but it is slowly falling apart and going back to nature there were so many big ranches up in this area because the water is plentiful You know, it's beautiful in here. The saguaros look really healthy. And there is uh, hot springs up in here. Oh, neat. Yeah, I've never been to them. Um, you, you can't get to them in a vehicle anymore because the Forest Service and the Park Service have blocked things off. But you can get to them on horseback if you know where to go. Unfortunately, I don't know where to go because all the people that knew where the hot springs were and how to get to them have unfortunately passed away. I'm on the other side of the camera. That's unusual, right? Usually I'm running my mouth. Oh, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> and Elwood is doing so much better with his head today. Yes. He's quiet and he's relaxed and he's so comfortable. And he says, thank you, Auntie Meg. <laughs> Poor old. Oh. We are coming to an obstacle in the trail. I guess they've had to do this because it got washed out. But the, the bikes and the horses are going around it because it's really inconvenient. But yeah, this, yeah, go up to the right. This area really, really did get washed out. All right, we're going up on the ridge now and we should get some pretty good views. We got a little bit of a climb here. And the horses are gonna have to work a little bit. But Alita and I got up early and got out here fairly early so that it's still comfortable for us and the horses. This is the end of May and usually the temps are in the low hundreds this time of year and uh, it's only been in the 90s 
and as hot as that might seem to some people, to us, 90 is still comfortable. Right, Alita? Yes, yeah. <laughs> so, so we're going for it. But this is a nice trail that we're on, and um, it's a little technical in a couple of places. The horses have to pay attention. They have to know where to put their feet, or they're going to get in trouble. And I'd like to bring our other best friend, Gail, on this trail as soon as, as, soon as her horse is ready. Go to the right. That's a really bad spot for the horses. We had hellacious monsoons last summer. And then again, all through the winter, we had quite a bit of rain. And uh, a lot of these trails took the hit. And there's not enough people maintaining them. We do have trail committees, and uh, the Arizona Trail people are really good at keeping up the Arizona Trail. They work on it constantly. This is not the Arizona Trail, and I'm not sure who is responsible for keeping this up. But I think a call is in order, and I will find out when I get home and try to contact somebody. We're in a Choya forest right now, and here's a pretty one with a lot of beautiful fuchsia colored flowers on it. And there's quite a bit of Choya all along this trail, and you definitely do not want to get into this with your horse, because when it gets on you, it rolls, and all the little spines come off the cactus and stick into your skin. And when, uh, when the horses get it on them and it rolls down their flank or their leg, boy, I'll tell you, it gets real western real fast. <laughs> Here's the ridge that we were looking at from the other side when we were first riding in. We were on the back side of that ridge right now. And there's still nobody out here. Beautiful, beautiful weather, nice and cool. I don't know where everybody's riding, but I'm kind of glad it's not out here. We've got the whole place to ourselves. We just came up to a, I don't know if it's killing or an old well or whatever, but it's all rock. Some type of a man-made thing. Now we're in the wash, heading back to the trailers. We've just come down off the ridge that you see up above us. And there were a couple of iffy spots that we came to that were washed out during the monsoon season last year. And um, it's pretty, the ground is pretty undercut right up to the trail. And if you've got a horse that's not too sure of himself or really young or green, it's probably better to get off at those spots. 
I didn't even turn the camera on because I was too busy keeping my horse away from the edge. Here comes Gail. She's going to go in front for, I mean, here comes Alita. I'm sorry, I'm thinking of Gail and her horse at those iffy spots. Alita's going to go in front for a little bit. Do I go right? Yeah, go to the right. It's starting to get a little bit warmer and uh, we can't feel the breeze down here in the wash. When we were up on top of the ridge, there was a really nice breeze. So we're gonna have to suffer with the heat until we get back out on the road that goes to the trailers. Yeah, this, this way looks a little bit more open. Maybe, I'm not sure. Everything's getting so overgrown down in here. We need to bring some uh, some loppers and trim it up a little bit. Yeah, I see some hoof prints, so I think this is how everybody's coming right now. We've got some old drainage pipe up here, and that's what Nugget is looking at. She's not sure if she should go by that or not. It does look scary. Drainage pipe. Oh, okay. Because when the road was open up here for vehicles, there's a couple of washes that you have to go through oh, okay. where we walked on the rocks. Mm -hmm. They got it lined with rocks now. Anyway, they had drainage pipe there to so it wouldn't flood too badly and the vehicles could get across the ranch people could get home. Well we saw how well that worked. <laughs> And we got some rocks to climb over here. It would be really pretty if there was some water flowing over these rocks. But if there was water flowing, we might not be in here because there is literally no way out, as you can see from the walls here. We would be trapped. Looks like a cave up there. Yeah, and there's all kinds of little, little caves all along the wall here where the, the birds will make a nest. The owls get in here and nest. That is so beautiful. Isn't this gorgeous? Look at all the little caves up here. Now, this is a, a real pretty ride. We got to get Gail down in here. She's got to see this too. This is 
Gail? Yeah, I think Gail will like this ride. We're coming up to a lot of rocks in the wash. This used to be all covered with sand and you could walk through it pretty easily. But when the monsoons hit in the spring and the summer, it washes all the sand away and we're left with just the rock. And it gets a little bit iffy with the horses. But both of these horses have been on more than one trail. So I think they'll be all right. Is Elwood going to do it? Yeah, I hope so. All right, get that momentum going and keep pushing. Good. There he goes. No problem for Elwood. Come on. We even have a little bit of water here. I'm gonna see if she wants a drink. No, she's eating. And then you can see if Elwood wants any. Mine's just eating. Let's get around it so Elwood could have a sip if he wants it. Come on, come on. All right, see if Elwood wants some. He doesn't? Okay. So you come to these spots in the trail and you've got to have a horse that doesn't try to jump it or doesn't panic because then the feet start sliding and they end up on their side with you underneath them. So they got to know what they're doing a little bit and be sensible about it because otherwise you could get in trouble. Here's another spot in the wash where the monsoons have washed all the sand away. And boy, it is really rocky. I think we can get the horses through. Yeah, it looks okay. But over there, it is really a rocky mess. I don't think you could get a horse through there without breaking their leg. Four point nine miles, Meg. Oh wow! Let's go home. It's getting hot. I think we're not too far from the the road to go back to the trailers because the Rincons are right in front of us and we are definitely not going up over the Rincons. No, not, today. not today, it's already getting warm. We're gonna have a snack back at the trailers. We have another gouged out area here. I guess trying to figure out how to get up it. There, we just did it. Let's see. Let's see if Elwood can do it. Come on, Woody. Come on, big boy. Yeah. Stagger, stumble, or fall. He's gonna do it. Good boy. He's your three-gated horse. Stagger, stumble, and fall. Here's <laughs> Elwood. Bite her on the butt. Don't bite Nugget on the butt. I, no, you can bite me. <laughs> you can bite me, but don't bite Nugget, because she'll she'll hurt you. <laughs> wow, he did all right. Yeah, he did. That wasn't graceful, but he got up it and didn't fall down. That's right, and I stayed on. So and you stayed on, so we're all good.
Hold him. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Back him up. Good, good. I don't know if he can really get in there for you to push it. Yeah, that's a that's a hard hard gate to do because of the way the frame and the braces come down and make it too narrow. But he's he's doing much better with his standing. You just gotta hold him so he doesn't go forward right. when you're when you're stopped there. Ooh. You wanna close it? I'm gonna see if I can get him to do that for me. Oops. Yeah, back him up. Don't don't let him go forward any more than you have to. So oh, okay. I'm not sure which way you want to do it. Oh.